Hi guys, welcome to part 14 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Still too many straight lines. I know the coastline is the exception, but in the back, one, two, three, maybe five straight lines are too much. Nature doesn't work like that. It doesn't offer you so many straight lines to place your buildings like it was a shelf. No, guys. And urbanism in Victorian era wasn't that developed, wasn't that advanced to offer you those straight lines. So, in the next minutes, in the next hour, live, because I don't have planned anything, I haven't planned anything, I will do a mini revolution. I will work intensively on the back levels there, trying to figure out how to add some curves. I don't know yet. Big problem. Maybe I will start using some of my rock paper. Then, then this little thing there, this little uh, first hot air balloon of my fleet feel extremely lonely. I will introduce you to the second one. Not be able, I will not be able to place it in the air because I haven't prepared uh, any other uh, cords like that, ropes like that. And I've tried to model it a, a little differently. This one has too many pieces to assemble. Yes, good looking, yes, very engineered, but between 50 and 60 pieces to assemble too much. I've tried to get a decent looking hot air balloon with simply one, two, three, five pieces. Yes, five pieces. And the basket there, I think it is too little compared to the balloon. Yes, the balloon is in scale with the buildings, but this basket here is a little too... Uh, short, too narrow, too little, okay? So I went a little crazy on the basket, but the balloon is something different, something I will introduce it to you in the next uh, minutes or hours, I don't know yet. Then some of the three um, figurines I have already uh, introduced you need to be painted. Then on the cage, the lion cage, the cage for the um, lion tamer, the one from last season that will populate the um, carnival section is uh, uh, drying because I painted it. Then uh, next uh, part, uh, next uh, part of the cathedral there, one, two, three, uh, parts are, are already there. It's time I've uh, this time I've started adding the first part of the second level. It is big, and I will introduce it to you. Then, then uh, maybe some other things, but the work will be focused on modifying the layout there.
time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion you don't love me no more Babe, give me some to work with, can you just reassure
Yes, you guessed it correctly. I did some painting and I'm sorry for this mess, for my dirty hands, etc. During the intro of this part 14, I forgot to mention the new stage. I threatened you to do it in the last part. And Monday night, let's say between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m., I modeled this new stage for the carnival section slash circus section. Uh, not suited for the FDM printer, for the filament printer, because of its geometry. I had to print it with my resin printer, the SLA printer, but it was big, so I sectioned it. And let's try to assemble it before talking about it. Here it is the stage, obviously in three parts, but I needed some legs, guys. I needed some legs. And I did some triangles. You know that I'm obsessed with triangles. And uh, I haven't cleaned them very well, but here I am. So I will assemble these, and those triangles will be the legs like that of the stage, okay? And I will connect you see that I have a tree uh, insert there and this will help me get the three parts of the stage connected between them. So this is the first part I need to do. I will use some resin as always, <clears throat> like that. I will do this, then this, then also this and my uh, my UV lamp here and oops like that and each time I have three of them I will glue stick like that. done and the stage and the three pieces are connected together like that okay first step now this is the front this is the front of the stage this is the back 
I needed something strange for the back. I wanted something ancient and but beautiful to see. I did some gothic arcs and some friezes here and there, some rounded. Uh, these, uh, I, my first intention was to add some windows there, but uh, it would have mean, mean uh, having more depth. So I converted that in something uh, different. I simply need to try to find the correct, yes, like that. So first piece, second piece, and those pieces will go like that, okay? And it's starting to get there, guys, okay? The stage and everything. I knew that uh, that I may have some problems here um, in the joining, in the joining section. So I also modeled some, uh, some shields, okay? They have different shapes and the different, okay, like that. Maybe I can approach a little more the camera to let you see. They are shaped like shields and they have some, those ones have some crowns. Okay, they have some crowns as representing different um, kingdom. Okay, maybe I can use them to hide a little bit. Yes, like that. You can see that I have some more holes there because uh, I thought poor performance there is to get wet okay so why not provide them with some little um, roofs okay like that so these are simply some roofs So the roof is there. Then, then I thought, let's do some other things. Let's do some. This is the middle. Okay. This is the middle. Then I have some more different shields there.
to frighten you guys, I also modeled a couple of lion heads. Okay, like that. Uh, not really modeled from the beginning. I modified my uh, figurines from last season. I enlarged it and then I <laughs> I reshaped the head. There. This is, guys, the look of maybe the last stage. This huge stage, but this is the look of the stage. And I also modeled maybe some those ones. Let me approach. I know. I went strange and crazy. This is the symbol of the French King Dynasty. A lily, a lilium in, in um, lilium in Latin. I think lily in uh, in English, but I may be wrong. And it is a nonsense. But why not having some performers? from France getting on the stage. So I modeled this little symbol there. Very strange, I know. And maybe it is the, I will glue some name of the performer. I don't know right now, I will not glue them. Now, one piece, two piece, Three pieces, four pieces, five pieces, and this will be my second altar balloon, guys. Instead of fifty to sixty pieces to assemble, just five to assemble. I went with a huge basket this time, but also the ropes are more similar to the ropes I will use to connect the uh, hot air balloon to the ground, the same diameter, maybe this is a little thicker, but it will give the structure a better uh, resolution. Also, the rope here, are bigger, are thicker, and it is ruined. Also, it is damaged, it is old, but I want it like that. How to assemble this? Let's, two holes here, two holes there. Let me prepare This, I simply need to remove uh, the brim part I used to stitch, to, to glue this to the bed of the printer. Okay, just from one side, obviously. And I hope I did this correctly. not to break anything, one here, one here, 
one there. Inside it is empty. And now the difficult part Good, and now and now ta -da! Guys, this is the second outer balloon of my fleet. Red, blue and yellowish for the ropes. Very difficult to paint. Very, very difficult to paint. I always make mistakes, but uh, I will explain why I did this during my uh, outro on, or during my final recap. But this is the second Otter Balloon, guys. Final recap of part 14 of the 2023 series. And obviously I'm starting from the highest level. That it is no more the highest level because now I have Santa's level there, ready to accommodate Santa's Wonderland buildings. And uh, this is the reshaped one. Uh, and also you can see that now the cathedral has a second level. Not entirely done, first part of the second level. But if I approach the cathedral, you can see that the windows are the exact same shape of what I did the last season with the scriptorium guys. So a little narrower the windows but exactly the same shape and exactly the same design. I wanted continuity between the two buildings. That's a way of getting continuity. Obviously now the elevator doesn't get perfectly aligned. The cabin will not get perfectly aligned to the level with the scriptorium in the cathedral simply because I added four more centimeters as you have seen. If I 3D print another stack it will be six centimeter tall. Mm, no guys I simply need the four more centimeters. I don't want to add a platform there another level another mid level so I will model a different type of stack to get the cabin uh, at uh, the right position. It will be ready for next part, I think, guys. Here, I primed the crane there, and you can see that I added these big half circle, almost half circle section there. As I told you in the beginning, if I can, I will always try to not use straight lines, too many straight lines, at least. Okay, so this is a circular part there, a circular wall that I will cover with some walls. Obviously, that's why it is so fragmented. I cut it quickly to pieces, 12 plus 4, 16 centimeters. And here in the middle, I will try to add something strange. Uh, and on the corner of this section, I will have two buildings maybe not this one that is very wide but wide sorry but i will try to find 
uh, a way to accommodate the maximum number of buildings. I've noticed that Lucy's Chocolate is no more there. Okay, now it is not the final position for Lucy's Chocolate Shop but guys it is what it is right now i didn't have time to um take some other buildings from the storage i would continue like that it was an adventure trying to model that and also trying to model the support there you have seen me doing the support and now it is some sort of a, a big cavern um, maybe i will modify this angle but it is a starting point for the final level guys and so painted figurines guys and i will let you see will let you check what i mean the difference between an unpainted figurine that is anonymous like that with the this one that i painted finally and you can see that even if it has one leg i decided to give in also simply one eye guys it uh, he has he has a big scar on his right eye some stitches some big stitches there and the eye is closed guys this is my way of painting and I also added some uh, medium gloss once painted. It has injuries on the leg, it has injuries on the hands, you can see the bandage around the hand, uh, the left hand and the right hand not uh, injured but the wrist, yes a boot black boot uh, the belt etc some protection for the uh, shoulder there viking fisherman viking fisherman it was a very dangerous uh, job fishing at that time don't believe it was uh, simply a matter of uh, uh, getting on the boat and then uh having a cool life it was very dangerous and injuries happened at any time also the little lady there on the wheelchair like that uh, with his cat with his devil cat i wanted a cat from um, exotic cat so orange cat tiger cat with some green eyes not blue eyes sorry guys oops let me show you the eyes of the cat and then the lady as the old lady has uh, hearing horn obviously but also i've tried to paint the eyes differently uh, like oh my god i can hear and uh, so from uh, uh, the right eye it is oh good i can hear and the other one is a little sleepy because she can't hear anything from that here uh, wood wooden chair wooden uh, wheelchair uh, with some gray hair there so it is totally different with the painting done guys uh, they started to getting to life like that and some connecting between the what was left of the his leg and the fake leg the fake wooden leg fisherman viking fisherman injured viking fisherman and this is how i paint my figurines guys three hours and the three hours six hours of work just for those two figurines there guys nothing modified here nothing modified here but guys tada the second hot air balloon and the dimension guys it is almost identical to the other one the shape is different because the first one i modeled is somehow modern shape okay uh, more towards 1900 okay this one is really a hot air balloon from the first uh, years of uh, um, 
Otter ballooning, okay guys, and rounded, it is more like a pure sphere, okay, and then the basket there. This will be high, 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 high somewhere there. I will get it very, 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 very high in the sky and with the basket and everything but even on the ground it is it has is purpose let me get a figure in you can see that with this basket there i can accommodate the fisherman inside the basket easily instead here the basket was too little okay a little too little mm, but this basket is uh, in scale with the balloon this basket is a little larger also the sandbags there big sandbags but it is a compromise i started from reality and then went with something similar to reality but we it is very good looking guys at least always for me guys be uh, advised it is only my opinion up to you to judge it has the same weight of the other one maybe a little lighter maybe 10 grams less than the first one uh, five pieces basket one piece for the down section the below section the top section and then the two um the two pieces i use it to uh, get them together to uh, attach them together okay and nothing else guys five pieces against 50 to 60 pieces i don't remember this one is a piece then two piece four piece six piece eight ten plus each and single one of these um, rope there are a piece one there two there three there four there 60 pieces is too much to assemble guys as i told you uh, let's continue guys the lion timer lion tamer cage guys finally i decided to go with a square at the cage 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters uh, I was suggested to do use an octagonal, uh, an octagonal version, but it was too big, and octagons are a near a perfect circle, near a circle. Okay, but instead I went with this one. The door is from the side, and inside I can accommodate the lion tamer and the tree. And the two lions and the tiger and i painted it with a primer then some black with some iridescent silver the stage guys this is the new stage and the guys figurines can go there easily okay i could have used it maybe even inside the cage maybe using 30 by 20 and using the cage inside using it inside the cage but it will accommodate surely um, a two performer a two performers act there okay and those are the mobile and i haven't attached it because i can orient them it all depends from where i will place it lion i've modified this head here guys the head i use it here i modified a little more a little bit the design i use it there but it is very similar the modeling i've uh, made him more serious and uh, but the ears are there and the ears are there and i've modified simply modified these this one here okay uh, instead of going with a completely new design anubis is there nothing changed there here we will add some some more uh, buildings then the cathedral from this point of view also guys and you can see that the windows are very similar to the windows from the uh, scriptorium okay guys uh, i've tried to shape them gothic as i did and they're the second level and inside i will have 
some life inside i have a second level and a half there on top there on top there i have a second level and a half inside because i i think i can add something more already told you about the elevator and uh, i will continue with the cathedral i urgently need to finish but now with this new shape that i will try to fix some this is too squared i will try to fix that with something else but inside the walls are not uh, more squared this is some sort of a big cavern inside the mountain okay guys and this is the support for uh, some some sort of support for the top level otherwise it can be too thin so i shaped it with some big ridge on the on the on the top even if it is not functional and then the rock paper this is the first time you are seeing me using my rock paper in this 2023 season guys but each single piece it's practically nothing 90 cent 90 euro cents less than uh, a dollar for a big piece i know that it is very expensive to order this kind of paper from outside Italy but in Italy during the Christmas times it is very common used and it has a good effect I will add some mask here and there it's simply early stage of the final level I will modify it but the rock paper allow me to to create ridges to create um, different type of background and it is used by nativity crypts uh, builders in italy i don't build the nativity crypts but i use this rock paper that it is fantastic and it is and the painted guys so but very cheap in italy very expensive outside italy and you can't find it uh, at this price um, online even in italy if it is not a christmas uh, time or um, between september and december because uh, they don't stock it the christmas store they don't stock it during off season but during the season it's very cheap and i will always stock entire piles of them uh, for now because now the christmas shops are not open yet but in a few weeks yes but i use it right now what else guys i've told you everything i did i did some more paintings uh, on some other figurines but it is a surprise i will continue maybe this will be the last stage maybe not guys i don't know i need to focus on the space i will need for for all my carnival slash circus figurines i have and then decide if i need one more stage maybe i can also go somewhere else with my stages i don't think this can be the only uh, section for my carnival but right now let's uh, let's uh, do it like that Anubis is still there, still protecting everyone. And now with these four more centimeters, I can accommodate two more buildings there. Or maybe one building, one's uh, not too wide building, and have some fences around the Slater's home, and then some more buildings there. I can, I can accommodate. Then the, on the cathedral level, yes, cathedral, maybe a little more towards there. I don't know yet, but I can also add some more live scenes with those uh, more space I have in front. Still a big, 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 big adventure to continue. Still many things to do, but, but it is what it is, guys. See you for the outro. Now I really can say my 2023 Christmas Village will have a fleet of hot air balloons. It's no more a single one, 
it's two hot air balloons, but the fleet will be even larger, guys. And this one will be up, 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 up in the sky. Let's hope that physics will help me because the rope will have to sustain so much torsion once this will be in the in the uh, in the air airborne. But it's like that, and if you use outer balloons in the sky, you don't waste space on the grounds for the buildings. It is simply a matter of accommodate the ropes around the building, around the square, around something, and it will add. I don't know yet what it will add. I hope it will add a good effect once the camera will slide in front of the of the village once it will be completed but it, it, it it's just a matter of having the perfect point of view to let you see all the other balloons the levels will end there guys i don't have you know, any more space uh, to go any more hate to go i will adjust something as i told you it's useless to go to the other camera guys simply because you have seen for a very long time in this part of 14 me working uh, from that point of view so you already know what has changed there and the rest you have seen it during the final recap no more buildings to print maybe another stage maybe but i'm not sure i will need to try to accommodate the figurines off camera obviously because I also have some new figurines carnival section figurines obviously and then all the rest will be Lemax buildings Lemax props not rain as I've said but maybe maybe I will go crazy crazy than ever and add a giant building in front of that or in the middle of that new circular section I have behind the docks near the uh, pink stairs. But it's only a little idea that is uh, getting inside my mind and it will be... I don't know yet. But I hesitate because I will waste a 40 by 40 centimeters, guys and 40 by 40 centimeters is at least two by two buildings Woof! please don't forget to subscribe comment and give a big thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my you know awful english extremely awful english sometimes and see you for part 15 but only if you really want bye